Hi, I'm Nick from Australian Native Bee. Today I want to do a product review on Sweet Nets. I have spent much time looking around for a good quality net and I think I've finally found it. I bought this net from entosupplies.com.au I am in no way affiliated with this company but I do like the products they produce. Engraving the details and model of the net is one of the first things I did as Ento Supplies has many different types of nets. Placing a net on your hoop is relatively easy to do. Undo the screw that sits below the aluminium brace. Slide your brace down, remove the hoop, remove the old net, slide your new net onto the hoop, bend the hoop slightly to work the last bit of the net onto your hoop. Return the hoop to the pole and slide your brace up. Lastly, return the screw into the pole. Run this anti-clockwise first till you hear a click, then run it clockwise. This will prevent you from double threading your timber and causing yourself a lot of heartache later. Let's quickly run through a few of the different types of fabrics available for sweep and butterfly nets. This is sailcloth. It is by far the hardiest material for sweep nets. As you can see, the fibers are closely knit together. While this does not provide much airflow through the net and sweeping can become tiresome, it does pay off being the hardest of nets. Being able to sweep trees and branches that are very hard will not destroy your net. Sailcloth has an added bonus in which you can collect all the air in the net at once, throwing all insects to the bottom of the net. You can see how the net catches the air here. Polyester is the next fabric I would like to talk about. Under close inspection you will see it is a mesh type weave. This is very good for airflow and this net can easily move through the air. This net is capable of catching very small to large insects. Because of its mesh type construction, I wouldn't recommend swinging this net into areas where it is likely to get snagged, as you may get a tear. The positive for this net is, it allows you to see the insects you have caught more clearly through the net. The last fabric I'd like to talk about is polyganza. Polyganza is a very fine fabric and would be suited to catching very delicate insects or butterflies. A mesh type construction that is almost too fine to see with the naked eye allows this net to flow through the air. While having slightly more air resistance than polyester, you won't notice it because of its lightweight feel. A great net for the gentle collection of fine specimens. I hope this video will help you choose the right net for you.